All right, all right, ladies, gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. God, I've missed. I've missed it. I really have missed it. Uh, what is this here? Is this medicine? Is this just all medicine? Yes, it is. Let's take some. God, I've missed it. I love just fucking around in this game. All right. Let's see. Who is exactly on the menu? We're at camp, so Dutch is here. What does he want? Magicians for sport. Okay, find more about the bounty hunters Trelawney mentioned. This is a mission with John about the horses, I think. And this is Hosea. Doing something more for the Braithwaite. Not sure what that's all about. Well, might as well go talk to Dutch. Ah. Uh, after maybe Pearson, you got any stew ready? You're not exactly dressed for cold weather. It's hot. It's the South. Right. <laughs> Quit telling me this. Morning, Mr. Morgan. Hey, Pearson. Oh, Hello. you're taking the stew pot. You know, too many folk around here take you for granted. Well, that's nice of you to say. Our own cook. That's fine, Liver. Alright, Dutch. What do you got on for me? Arthur. Arthur. Yes, sir. What well, now? You sweating yet, Dutch? Of course I'm sweating. We're in some disease ridden, swampy, Dixie whistling shithole. <laughs> uh, I meant about what Trelawney said about these bounty hunters. I'm not sweating as such, but maybe a little gentle perspiration. <laughs> Until we know more, ain't too much harm in wasting good liquor on sweating. So? So, I think you should pay Mr. Trelawney a visit and find out exactly what he knows and who he spoke to. Take Charles with you. Oh, the sight of the pair of you would make a statue sing out its secrets. Okay. All right. Where you at, Charles? Hey man, let's go. Charles, I need you for some business in town. Come on. Okay. Sounds good. Time to go, boy. <laughs> Already, come on. Where are we going? Dutch wants us to have a talk with Trelawney about these bounty hunters who are coming for us, hoping he can tell us who they are or where they're coming from. Okay, and you're deputies now. Yeah, <laughs> something like that. As soon as we laid eyes on that fool of a sheriff who runs that town, I knew Dutch was going to play him like a fiddle. What the fuck? <laughs> Charles, why are you shooting at people? Whoa, you killed the... All right. You killed the what horse! Saying before? Hiding in plain sight, Dutch calls it. Hmm. <laughs> So, the spirits seem good. In the new camp, I mean. We got some space between us and that mess now. Ain't seen no more Pinkertons for a while. There's these bounty hunters, of course, but Dutch don't seem too worried about it. Can't believe they're still coming after us. We didn't even get away with the money. Yeah, but they don't know that. Of course. Trelawney. I've only met him a couple times, but he's... He's a strange one. Yeah, he's a weird little dude. Fear not. He's just a cockroach in fancy britches. But he gets into nooks and crannies the rest of us can't. We just need to find him before he scurries off again. I think it's just up here.
Reckon it's that one with the fire outside. Let's take a look. Oh, okay, be careful with the horse. Oh, it's a mess in here. Someone Jesus. got here first. So it seems. By the looks of things, it wasn't a social call. Nope. Check the house. Clue, what this do we find? This barely touched. Yep. Looks like he left in a hurry. Made quite a mess of it, though. Oh. What is this, a uh, telegram? Found anything? Mining company certificate. What he was talking about before. Wait, okay. Snake oil. Bed's not made, so he must have been here recently. Had time to run, or needed to run. There's some blood here. That ain't good. Big struggle. Pretty recently, I'd Look, say. I guess tracks. maybe uh, 12 hours ago. But no body? Not yet. This is not hey, good. Boy. Come on. They went down the path here. How's your tracking these days? All right, I guess. <laughs> well, lead the way then. Not the kind of place I'd expect to see Trelawney staying in. No? Normally scams himself into the best hotel in town. You know. When me and Javier went down with Trelawney to get Sean, after the bar fight, I swear, he talked the whole way and never actually said a damn thing. I thought you knew. That's his special talent. <laughs> they could be 20 miles away by now. We can track them that far if we need to. Depends on how much you want to find them. Yeah. Well, we probably need to find them real quick. I still ain't sure about that. Did they go off the road? I don't see any more tra- Oh, they go this way. Hello, sir. Arthur, where are you going? Excuse me. Yeah. Have you seen him? <clears throat> we're, uh, we're looking for our friend. I don't think he's here. <laughs> You seen a strange sort of feller, sort of formal? Strange, sure. Formal, nah. He uses a cane. Looks a lot like this one. Yeah. All right, you two. Where the hell is he? Go better get out of here. Come in. <laughs> Come on, you bastard. Where's Trelawney? You stay there. Where's he at? Where is Trelawney? I don't know anything. Tell me where he is. You go to hell. You better tell me now, you son of a bitch. Okay. Okay, for Christ's sake. They took him to a cabin over by the cornfields. Which cornfields? Left. Down the path there by Braithwaite Manor. Well done. Don't need any witnesses. Right. Come on, Charles. That should do it. Come on, pal. Come on, let's go. Follow me. I think there's a way around so we don't have to go through the Braithwaite's place. All right, lead on. Yes. I've spent enough time there. After you, then. 
You okay? I'm good. What do you think they want with Trelawney? Could be any one of a hundred things. Just depends if any of them involve us. You think he'll talk? Of course he'll talk. <laughs> He'd sell his own sister to save a train fare. Jesus. He don't know how not to talk. He don't know where we're holed up, though. At least I don't think he does. I don't know why Dutch still deals with him. Always disappearing for weeks on end. He's got his uses, man. Well, loyalty matters to Dutch. Of course. But is Trelawney loyal? Yeah, kind of. I guess Trelawney ain't exactly disloyal. Just got a big mouth. Don't worry. If he talked, I'll goddamn find out what he said. Trelawney? Nothing's ever straightforward. Trelawney's involved. Learn that much. I mean, how much time have we wasted getting this fool out of trouble? Yeah, not he much. He somehow manages to be both lucky and unlucky at the same time. <laughs> That's one way of looking at it. But he always finds some way to pay us back. Just when we think about cutting him loose, he brings us something big. I guess that's a special talent. Keeping fish on the line. He is a salesman, so it would make the most amount of sense. See anything? After that oh. sack, this will be remembered like a good time. Put the man down, gentlemen. Is that the lot of them? I, I think so. Uh, so you're uh, alive. Allegedly. Well, don't worry, they won't be for much longer. Look, go get them, Arthur. I can handle this. Got you, buddy. Who knows what he told them? Let's get after those sons of bitches. One of them went this way. We need to flush them out. Which way was that? Where the birds are. I see. Got him. Cowards. Which way did? I think I heard something this way. Gotcha. They're gonna get away. Let's find them. I'm telling you now. You boys ain't leaving here. Okay. We got one more, Charles. I don't see none in the sky. No, I didn't. Which up oh, over there? So probably in this field. Clothes. He's dumped his gear. Look around. He can't have gone far. Oh shit! He's mine! 
Let me take him. And get out of here. You have my friend. He's not your friend. I'll give you money. Be quiet. <laughs> You should have taken the money. I know. I'm a fool. Well, thanks, Charles. Yeah. Thank you. Ah, oh, shit. Gunshots are coming from that barn. Come on. I'm after him. See how badly they beat up the slippery fella. I wonder how much trouble he's brought with him. <laughs> Guess we'll soon find out. Seems like we can't catch a break now, Arthur. Our luck's held this long. We got out of worse scrapes than this one. Mm, so I heard. <laughs> sure. What's government agents and bounty hunters to us? Uh, I hope you're right. <laughs> It's not much more than anything we've uh, already had to deal with. Mr. Trelawney, where are you? Over here, dear boy. You're too far ahead. Just in case. I need to clean some of my guns. You okay? Never finer. So, who was they? Uh, they were bounty hunters. Uh, attached to Cole Stoudemire. Okay. They weren't looking for me, per no. se. What you tell them? Not much. I told them I was an intellectual. Come down here from Oregon, looking for a job at the university. Of course, they didn't believe me. Seems you stirred up quite a hornet's nest in Blackwater. So I keep hearing. It might be best if I stay with you gentlemen for a while. Can't go back to that caravan now. All right, Charles. You take Trelawney back to camp. I'll catch up with you. Okay. There always seems to be more. More and more civilization. I want to get back in the open country of the West, or what's left of it, but... Well, even that ain't the way I remember it. All right. A little gloomy here in Rhodes. Where is the near... Do I have some stuff that I need to sell? I might. I think I do. All right. Uh... 9 a.m. It's cool. Come here, boy. You, boy. Let's go sell some stuff and then we'll see what else we can get on. Yep. Hey, dog. Hello, boy. Wait, is it? Oh, it's on this side. That's right. Hello, sir. Hey, you got anything for me? Maybe. Got anything good for me by any chance? I got a couple right. rings. What do you have for me? Well, you don't do this as a profession, huh? Okay. Oh wait, don't let, you let me tell see. no one. You hear? Yeah, I ain't gonna tell anybody. What am I gonna tell them? Uh, bye. What do you What do you have? I Give apparently need some tomahawks. 
I can later on buy a machete, big beans, can peas and some booze and shine. Lockbreaker. You okay. will love that, I swear. Some masks. A couple of pamphlets. Really, you won't regret it. Right, I'll come back for the you other stuff ask later. Too many questions about its previous ownership. Remember, hush, hush. All right. So what is it Trelawney needs? What is that? You doing a wagon robbery? Okay. Let's hit it. We can help John out a little bit later. Sorry, buddy. Oh, God, did I kill him? <laughs> Shit. Whoa, hey there. Oh, that's a that's a deer. Never mind. I thought he was investigating a body. <laughs> You're a good that was that? Uh oh. We got a robbery going on over here, gentlemen. Doing some honorary gun slinging around here. Having a little bit of fun. Um, where okay. these horses come from? And why did this one just drop dead? Is it. Is it a lot? No, it's dead. Okay. <laughs> oh, fuck. Come here, boy. Gotcha. You belong to me. Pick it up. Pearson will love it. down the book, get some breakfast, and go speak to Trelawney. That's quite a gun you got there. Huh? Clean it. Oh, dear Lord. Gets me all hot and bothered. I love it. You'll not charm me, Mr. Bell. Thank you. <laughs> I'll certainly try. Now shoot him. Hmm? <laughs> oh, dear Lord. Okay. Y you all right there, Susan? Morning. You're going to catch a chill dressed like that. What would we do without you? Okay, well, I, I guess she is okay. Arthur! 
It was Tilly trying to get me to play dominoes again. <laughs> I am very sorry, but I have zero idea or interest as to how to play dominoes. Dutch. Don't be strange. Oh, sorry, Dutch. The old Dutch charm. I guess so. Well, I ain't saying nothing. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Sure thing. Morning, dear. Good morning, Arthur. There he is. Hello. Drinking already? Hello. Take it easy with that stuff. You okay? This is taking it easy. You wanna talk about it, Karen? Okay, guess not. Trelawney? Arthur! How you doing, Tilly? Where is he at? Uh, oh, there he is, I think. Mr. Strauss, how Thanks, you doing? Just. Good morning. Putting the world to rights there? Trying to, Mr. Morgan. Well, don't let me disturb you. Okay, Mr. Morgan. Arthur! Are you busy, Arthur? Not necessarily. Uh, well, I know you think I'm just some effete buffoon. A what? A man of words and not of action. Hardly a man at all. Well, I think you're as slippery as an eel in an oil slick, but still a man. Because I think I've... I found something interesting. Yeah? Have you ever robbed a stagecoach? No, never. I would have even thought. Of course I robbed a goddamn stagecoach. You know I have. And what's the problem with stagecoaches? The armed man attempting to put a bullet in your head? Not quite. The odds. I mean, is it worth the robbing? Sometimes. I know. But, well, if you'd like to come with me, I can introduce you to a new best friend, and he's he's going to give you all the decent, robbable stagecoaches a hot-blooded degenerate could require. Well, I could require a whole lot. Damn it. Okay. Well, let's go. So where do we find this friend of yours? Roads, because what can possibly go wrong there? Well, lead the way and we'll find out. You still sure right. seem to have got a bout around here. You know me, I like to make friends in low places. How the hell you end up down here anyway? I could ask the same of you. I have a few commitments over this way. Some expenses to meet. Expenses? Okay. What expenses? Gentlemen's canes and rabbits to pull out of hats. <laughs> Come on, Trelawney. Right on. Is my company all right then? So you was just talking about something? Among other things, this is a strange route you're taking. I had quite a nice little business going for a while. Shares in a gold mining company. Oh yeah, I saw returns that. for the investor of a certain financial standing. Until, well, that unfortunate run-in with the law. Yeah, that's how it goes. Thanks for disappearing on us during that Sean business, by the way. I'd done my part. Each to their strengths, dear boy. I suppose. You know... You boys should really watch yourselves with those two families. This is a small town. People talk. I tried to mention it to Osea, but you know how he is. Anyway, while they're off chasing their pot of Confederate gold hidden at the end of some rainbow, let me present you with something real. 
So, where exactly are we going? Here we are. We can hitch up outside. I'll make the introductions, Arthur. Okay. So we're just robbing a stagecoach from Rhodes? Rest now, boy. <coughs> Back a bit and let me do the talking. As you, you wish. Want to scare him off. The price of tobacco just seems to keep dropping. Yep, that's the word in town. Well, hello, Alden. <gasps> hello, Josiah. How have you been? Dandy. And you, friend? Uh, like I said, times are tough. My missus is a bad woman. Terrible woman. They often are. But how's work, Alden? Terrible. Wages got cut again. They reckon they just invented a new horse's carriage will be the end of us. <laughs> They've been saying that nonsense since they invented the wheel. The wickedness of bosses. I know. My comrades here and I are greatly discouraged from the adequate fulfillment of our duty. A discouraged man is no man at all, Alden. No man at all. My friend Arthur here has a present for you. Here. Ain't you kind, sir? Call him Arthur. He's one of us, a fellow man of distinction. Okay. Well, this is perfect timing. I think you'll like this one, Josiah. It'll be coming south down the river road through Siltwater Strand. Thank you, Alden. Thank you very much. Oh, and Josiah, if you or Arthur are ever out Strawberry Way, ask for my colleague there, a feller called Hector. He's also one of the, what did you call us again? Discouraged men, Alden. That's it, discouraged men. I like that. Well. Goodbye, Alden, or should I say, adieu. Oh, adieu, Josiah. Quite the charmer, aren't you? What the hell was that? <laughs> I thought you might like to see that pantomime. River Road through Siltwater Strand, he said. Okay. I think I know a good spot to wait. Sounds Follow good. Me. Come on now, boy. Okay, let's go. This way. Lead on. Yeah. So how do you what know what all them there? Simple as can be. Seems a lot of the station workers are in on it these days. They gotta Having be. A pittance, the unions are whipping them up, so they want something on the side. Like he said, there, strawberry. Could create a lot of opportunities for a man in your line of work. I ain't sure about going back to strawberry after all that market business. Didn't sound like you left anyone alive to recognize you, so I wouldn't worry <laughs> too much, dear boy. All this trouble, you gentlemen are becoming quite the celebrities, aren't you? Soon you'll be on the front of a dime novel. And dead, of course. <laughs> We're hoping okay. to be long gone before that. Dutch has a plan. If anything goes wrong, let's meet back here at this crossroad, okay? All right. Well, here's hoping it doesn't go wrong. You don't have the reputation for that. Really? Here we are. This is the spot. All right. Okay. This should do. Sure. Here. I'm hoping we won't need those. Uh, better safe than sorry. So what were you thinking? Well, according to this, the loot is located in a strong box, which is in the back. 
I'll put on a little performance, and you can scurry around, open the strong box, and relieve them of their goodies. And how do I open the strong box without threatening someone to open it for me? This should work. <laughs> and I can do this silently? Well, I'm hoping complete silence won't be necessary. But you're going to wish you had your earplugs. This is Damson. Oh, very good, Alden, very good. Of course, if anything goes wrong, you can wave your guns around like you normally do. Hold tight. They'll be here soon. There it is. Right on time. Let's go. Keep your distance so they don't... Heal. And please leave that gun in its host of... One. Okay. Well, let's see, uh, we can keep a good distance. Clean the gun a little bit. Work, Trelawney. <laughs> I flatter, but he... no, Stop the coach, my good man! Stop the coach! Whoa! Miss Damson, you owe it to West Elizabeth. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Trelawney. <laughs> All right, let's let's make a move. She bursts out our eardrums. Not good, not at all. Might I have your card? The event is on the 23rd of this month. I can't say enough, but Mrs. Damson. Magnifico. So sorry, gentlemen, for the interruption. Farewell. Let's give them some space. Well done, Trelawney. Yeah.
Well done, sir. Well done. It was easy. You did all the work. Teamwork, my dear boy. Teamwork. Here you go. Thank you. Oh, it's all good. Go see Alden from time to time. See you soon, Arthur. Okay, sounds sounds good. What I mess up and not get gold. Eight minutes, okay. Yep. Okay, so Hosea is down to Braithwaite and John is over here. Might as well uh do this job with John since we're out. Take care of the brave weights the next day. Something tells me it's not all going to work out very well. Or at least not without a little, a little bit of trouble. Supposed to be my business partners here. They arranged a meeting, I believe, about some horses. A fellow with a scar and a Mexican. Yes, sir. Out by the stables. Thank you. Have a wonderful day now. All right. <laughs> Let's hit it. And have you met my partner, Arthur Morgan? No. I met your son, the sheriff. Okay. Mr. Gray here was saying how he had problems with a family. A family of degenerates. Oh, well, nobody likes degenerates. They're hag and her inbred sons. They ruined this county. They killed my uncle, you know. That ain't right. Problem is, we can't be seen to get too close. And? We've got gold, Yankee. We've got gold. I ain't no Yankee, friend. I ain't nothing. My daddy came over on the boat from Scotland. I'm Scottish. And the Braithwaites? Goddamn peasants. I don't know. Mongrels. Slave fuckers. All you gotta do is look at them. How much gold? Enough. These are prized horses I'm talking about. Them, they'll get you 5,000. 5,000 for horses. Easy. And where do we sell them, these $5,000 horses? Over in Clemens Cove. Fell over there, we'll run them out of state and give you 50 cents on the dollar. Mister, you got yourself a deal. All right. Okay. Let's go get these horses. Crazy old fool. You should see the Braithwaite woman. Jose and Sean were planning on going over to the Braithwaite's. You haven't seen them? No, not yet. If they're there already, they better keep their heads down. We don't need this to be any more complicated than it already is. $5,000 for horses. We've been robbing the wrong folk all these years. Yeah? Yeah. He doesn't know what he's talking about. But if we get even a third of that, it'll be worth it. So how are we going to play this? The place is well guarded. So there ain't no point in blasting in there. We'll make a... I think we're there looking to purchase. 
three armed men? You'd be armed if you were about to spend 5,000 on horses. Yeah. <laughs> you should go in the back way, though. Avoid too many questions. Although a horse runs you now what? Like, as much as a Careful. fucking car now? There's a guard. I'll speak to him, okay? <sighs> All right, then. I don't know how much Can horses cost. You, gentlemen? Yeah, we're here to see about some horses. Horses? Yeah, we had a, an appointment with Mr. Braithwaite, I believe. Yeah, I never heard about any of this. A partner who wanted to make a significant investment in some stables down here. But perhaps we should look elsewhere. Well, I... Okay, then. Let's head on up to the stables. Sounds great. Someone will come see you. All right, John. Yeah. Smooth. Okay there, boy. That's it. Nice and easy. No need to rush. We don't want to draw any unnecessary attention. I'm sure the solid gold shotgun isn't drawing any unnecessary attention. I think that's the stables just up ahead. Looks Heads like. down, play cool. Head around the front, hitch up there. Hey! Alright, let's hitch up here. Whoa. Oh my god, I gotta, I gotta brush this horse. Let me do the talking. Brush them a little bit, just quick. All right, boy. We got some business to tend to. Hello there, sir. Here about some horses. Hello there. Can I help you, boys? I hope so. Heard you got some horses. We always got horses. Fine horses, I mean. I don't get you, friend. Yeah, you do. Come on. Listen, why don't you get out of here? You, Scarface, and your greaser buddy. Whoa! I don't like officials. We ain't officials. We're connoisseurs. Looking to do some breedings. Come on now, partner. Okay, fine. Follow me. These here's mainly the studs available for purchase or for working. If that's what you're interested in. What is you boys interested in? We represent a famous uh, stable and stud farm from uh, Saratoga. Is that so? Unofficially. Of course. Well, this here's Cerberus. Here Cerberus. Go, Sounds like Cerberus. at the horse. Let's uh, let's take a nap, shall we? A hot greaser, huh? Okay. Bandana's on. Don't need nobody recognizing us. All right, I'll grab the white one in the middle. You get the other two. Relax, boy. Come on, boy. Come on. Relax. Good boy. Whoa. Easy, now. easy, easy. Marshal, you're gonna tether him up to Javier's horse. Okay. Javier, you're gonna lead the stallions. Whoa, there. Easy. Make it easy. Now. There you go, boy. Come on. Come on. You're okay, boy. Easy. You're okay. Now let's get you out of here and sell you for a pretty penny. Marston, you ride point. I'll cover up the back. If there's any problems, we regroup at Clemens Cove. Okay. What are you doing? Let's go, quick. Get going, you two! What the hell you doing? Alright, shit. Stop! You're being robbed! I said stop these men! Stop! Ooh. More coming good? this way! Out of the fields! Got him. All right, 
We're good to move. Oh, I killed one of the horses by accident. Shit. There's a gap in the fence. We can get out that way. We're good. Let's keep moving. See if we can get rid of them in the trees. I think we lost them. Just in case, keep one in the chamber. We look. More on the road there. Uh, no, nope, we didn't lose anybody. Got him. You see any more? No. Don't think so. All right, let's get these horses to Clement's Cove quick before we run into any more trouble. What is with this horse spawning and dying? Cause I think we're by camp. Yeah, we are by camp. Come on, boy. Yeah. Come on. You got it. Well done. Lemon's Cove is just over there. Come on. Let's get this over with. Well, that could have gone smoother. Yeah. That'll be on my gravestone. <laughs> Come here. Could be on a lot of people's gravestones, to you be honest. You think they look like they're paying 5000 for horses? I guess we'll see. <clears throat> Easy. There we go. Hello, gentlemen. What you boys want? Heard you was, uh, heard you paid good prices for horses. Oh, we'll buy more or less anything, Pop. That so? Sure, Pop. I'm Clay Davies. That's my brother, Clive. We're twins. John. Arthur. Javier. <clears throat> so what are you? Cuban? No, I don't like Cubans. That so? Maybe. Why, what do you care? You ain't Cuban. Maybe I like Cubans. <laughs> Ooh, you're funny. He's funny. Ain't he funny, Clive? Clive don't talk. We're twins, but I was born first. He came out all yellow and black, but he's okay. Ah. Sure. Yeah, I know these horses. They, they ain't yours. But I like you, and I'll give you... I can give you 650 for them. <laughs> I was told we could get up to five thousand dollars for him. And I was told the moon was made of ladies' tears. Only it ain't true. Not one little bit. But I like you boys. But I ain't got more than seven hundred on me. You want it, or you want to ride them fellers into town, and maybe someone there'll hang you. We're gonna need more than that. I ain't got no more money, Pop. Here, take it or leave it. Uh-huh. All right. You goddamn fool, Marston. Ain't no one around here got $5,000, boys, but nice meeting you. <laughs> See you boys again, I hope. Come on. Yeah. Close the gate, Clive. Believed a yarn spun us by one of that Gray family and imagined we was going to be wonderfully rich. <sighs> At the end of it, we felt like prize idiots. Prize idiots indeed. Well, ladies, gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, when we return in a moment, we're going to see what else the rest of the gang needs from us. But I thank you so much for watching. If you're on YouTube, like, comment, subscribe. On Twitch, drop me a follow if you haven't already. And I'll be back in a moment. <laughs>